Hi, in this video we'll see about the line charts, how a line chart is created and how we can customize the line chart. Now whenever you have a field, let's say as dimension and a measure, usually a chart is created based on the Tableau visualization query language. So Tableau visualization query language chooses the best suitable chart for you. But sometimes you want your chart to be customized. For example, uh, first of all, I'm in the worksheet that is workbook named as line chart. The database is same global store so 2017. Now what I'll do is I'll pick up this market into this columns and I'll pick up this sales into this rows. Now, according to the visualization query language, the best suited chart for me is the bar graph. How do I come to know? Because they have selected as automatic. I've kept it. If I want to change from automatic to some other chart, let's say for example, line chart, I'll click on this drop down and select this option as line chart. So if you observe, that's a line chart which I've got it. So if you want, you can customize and create your own line chart. Now, what are the requirements? If you want to create a line chart, let's see, I'll click on this show me button. If I click on this place, it says for creating lines that is continuous, you need to have one date field compulsory, one or more measures which are given here, zero or more dimensions. So either of them, if you have, let's say if, if you have, this is the one which you have selected, zero or more dimensions. So this was zero or more dimensions, that is one dimensions, one measure which I've created and I've automatically created a pie chart. That means I've selected from this place, drop down. But if you have one date field, what happens? You can automatically create a line chart. Let's see now. Same, there are two types of line charts. One is discrete line chart and second one is the continuous line chart. If you observe, the criteria for creating a line chart is same for both of them, discrete and continuous. So I'll just click on this place. Now what is discrete and continuous? I'll tell you when we reach in this place, continuous versus discrete sheet. Now let us see whatever is about the line chart, there's a definition given in the caption. If you want to uh, read that, you can just double click on this caption part and you can read everything which is given. You can download the file that is nothing but line chart which is given below this video. There will be a link. You can download that and I'll click on OK. Now let us see the next one. When we have a date dimension, let's see if I go to this place, date line chart. So I've already created a date line chart. First of all, I'll clear this date line chart and I'll show you how to work on it. Whenever you have a date field, like you have this in this place, if you see there's an order date, how do I come to know whether it's a date field or not? If you see there's a date icon which is given on this place. That's nothing but a date data type. So what you can do is you can just double click on this order date and you can just double click on this sales part. Okay, that is the textual which is given here. So if I go the opposite way, if I clear this chart, if I double click on this sales, and then if I double click on this order date and if you observe the automatically they have selected as the line chart because for this uh, this icon that the best suited chart is nothing but the line chart itself. Now if you observe that's a simple line chart which is created at this place. So if you want you can add some labels if you want you can change the color part also. So here if I select some sales and if I select the color part and you know this sales it has nothing given here. If you want you can choose some other option and you can put in the colors part. This was a simple line chart which you have created. Now, if I want to create some detailed line chart, so I'll just go to this date lines details, double click on sales, double click on order date. This is a simple line chart. Now, if I select this option as category and if I drop down into the colors, so what will happen is based on the category, I'll be getting the line chart. The highest one is the red color. The red color, it says the technology. It has the highest sales. It has the highest sales across all the years and the highest was in 2015 the highest sales was in the 2015 if you want to understand in detail uh, like which year is it without looking at the place pick up the order date and drop into the labels part now you can see in 2015 the highest sales was about the technology if you want to understand exactly how much sales pick up the sales and drop into this label part in 2015 the sales was this much 1567433 this was the highest sales if you want to customize this field you can simply click on this label click on this option that is a text here and here what you can do is here if you want you can just type anything sales is so it is easy for the user who is looking for the chart for the first time he can understand easily yeah and then i'll click on apply okay so if you see the order date, year is how much? 2015, the sale is this much. Year is 2014, sale is this much. Now it is much more readable and you can easily understand. So that is one the, the in details if you want. So whatever you want, suppose if I remove this category outside, if I remove this year outside, now I have a simple line chart which is given here. Uh, if I remove this sales also. Now if I want based on the market, 
right now i have taken up on the based on the category but now based on the market if i want pick up the market drop into this colors part and if you see now it says the yellow color is the highest the yellow color stands for the asia pacific sales done for the asia pacific in all the years is the highest as compared to all the marketplaces now what i can do is if i want to make it a more detailed complicated one what i can do is i can pick up this market and i can drop into this column shelf itself now different sections are created if you see different sections asia asia specific africa europe all these sections and this is the sales in all the years which are, which they have done right or else if you want you can you can just bring this market down at this place and if you observe these are different sections which are created that is nothing but africa and this is the sales which is done at this place so based on your requirement how you are looking for you can find out the options here that is nothing but detail part here now the main topic comes that is continuous versus discrete now if i double click on this sales double click on this double click on the sales double click on this order date a line chart which i'm getting is nothing but a discrete chart itself that's a discrete chart now before discrete chart let us try to understand if you observe on the le left hand side of this place all the dimensions are in the blue data type if you see that's a blue color which is a data type here and below if you see that's a green data type which is given on this places now if you pick up any measures from here that is obviously a green if you pick up any option from here that is obviously a blue color right this is how we can work on but this is not the fact i'm i'm just lying i'm trying to make you fool uh, this one is not the dimensions blue color it is nothing like that this one is not for the measures so coloring is nothing related to measures and dimensions coloring is related to continuous and discrete this fields whatever you see is in the uh, green color are continuous fields whatever fields if you see in the blue color these are discrete so here there is an exception there is an exception when you pick up an order date it can be continuous it can be discrete both of them now what i mean to say is discrete and continuous first of all so the blue color and green, green color has nothing to do with dimensions and measures first thing second thing is a uh, green color stands for the continuous blue color stands for the discrete the chart which i have drawn is right now a discrete chart if i keep on expanding this chart if i click uh, keep on drilling down if you see different sections are created discrete means they are not you know at the single continuous part itself so if you see different sections are created this is the discrete part uh, again if i click on this maximize part these are discrete part that means there is no link with the first one and the last one they are not in the continuous range that is discrete part now if i want to make uh, into a continuous part how do i do it but before that if i remove this year if i remove this order now if you see i'm getting uh, still a discrete part of all the months now this is january month but which year january is it for 2016 2017 2014 2013 nothing it is a combination of all the years of the month of jan it is a combination of all the years in the month of august if you see so you cannot easily figure out which year which month right now it says only of january month if you want to understand about the year what you can do is again you have to pick up this option that is the order date and drop into this place now it says 2012 that is the january and 22 uh, there is 2013 this is for the february month so these are discrete fields what if you want to see the connection between all the years that is nothing but known as continuous so what i'll do is i'll pick up this month outside and uh, clear everything first of all double click on sales double click on order date by default you will be getting a discrete field because it is in the blue color so if you click on this drop down click on this drop down this options are for the discrete one this options for are for the continuous one if i select from here this option let's say year and if you observe the graph has changed slightly there is a slight change in the graph itself now if you see the color also has changed that means it is now a continuous uh, continuous field itself if i click on this plus sign and if you observe now let us try to understand earlier i was getting a month of jan for all the years now if you see 2013 q3 why because it is quarters let's make it to months if i click on this plus sign now it is months here if you observe here 2012 and these are all the months at this place if i keep my cursor it says month of the order that is january 2012 here if i keep my cursor let's say 2013 yeah december 2012 if you see february 2013 now with the dates and the months everything i'm getting at this place that is the months and the years both of them this is nothing but known as a continuous field 
earlier continuous field is represented in the form of a green color uh, the discrete field is represented in the form of a blue color usually tableau is very smart for all the continuous parts it brings into the measures for all the discrete parts it brings into the dimensions but there are some exceptions like date field which works both places in the continuous as well as in the discrete part so this is the method which you can you know convert into a disc, uh, continuous part itself again you want you can maximize into all the years part now why this is required first of all suppose you are a manager of a sales company now if you want to find out which year which month and which date was the highest sales done i can figure out easily on this place this is the point where highest sales was done okay now it is difficult for a normal person to figure out this one how much is it so what i can do is i can give some labels to this place how do i give a label i can give a label based on the sales select the sales put in the labels now you see the highest sales was done as 142691 but uh, which year it was done which month it was done so again i have to pick up this order date and i have to drop into this labels part now if you observe here it says now it is difficult to identify because you know there are many dates so they are compacted each, each other i'll say i want the highest and lowest so click on this labels select as minimum and maximum and if you observe in 2015 2015 this was the highest sales in 2017 at this particular date was the lowest sales so this is a easy method by which you can find out this with the help of the continuous not with the discrete part so i hope you have understood how to create a simple line chart this was a simple line chart line chart in details which you have seen that is a date line chart line chart in details with different sections and the main thing which comes as continuous versus discrete that's all for this video